Let's take a look at what's going on, <coughs> pardon me, in our temperature. Looking at 74 degrees out there this morning. Got a little bit of low cloud cover, lots of humidity, and we're looking for, <coughs> oh, excuse me again, <coughs> uh, 90 was our high yesterday. We're looking for a 92 today, and temperatures are going to continue to rise over the area, so it's very hot. A Memorial Day forecast. Now, as you can see right here, we are picking up some fog down in Falfurious, uh, lower visibilities in Alice and Kingsville as well. This is uh, that that uh, it is cooling down. It's getting very deep out, very dense out there. So do watch out if you're driving south. Here in the city, we're not as cool. As a result, we're a little bit on the mild side and we don't have any visibility problems. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, summer has really taken a hold of the country. I mean, everybody is looking at even 90 degrees in the place. Two weeks ago, they were in the 40s. So, I mean, this is a huge change, not only for us, but for everybody across the country. And now the big question is, uh, are the tropics going to be active? Well, on our satellite radar loop, brother, you can see how we had some stormy weather up the coast. Now, not so much for us. We had just a few little isolated showers that rolled around the area, but got some video, I believe, to show you of the Houston area area where uh, they uh, had some pretty nasty looking funnel clouds dropping out of the sky uh, getting very very close to a couple of high schools there as you see right about there now these were the uh, warm type thunderstorms they're coming in off the gulf therefore there's a huge lift of, uh, of uh, the atmosphere going up and that's why it turns into those little funnel clouds so uh, Texas City Texas there you go and you see the heavy rain they got we had a couple isolated showers around the area and this morning we've got maybe a couple two or three here and there uh, these are 10 minute showers they won't last very long certainly not enough to even to cool you down but as we get into the weekend higher pressure is going to be building in the moisture that we had from the weekend rain is going to start evaporating as a result we're looking for very warm temperature now the big story again uh, is the development of this uh, invest 90 okay it is still a tropical wave you can see how you can imagine the winds going this way well the storm's trying to grow up but gr as it grows the top of it's getting sheared off so it's not in a good environment to develop but once it drops into the Gulf of Mexico it is expected to strengthen and may become a depression as it rolls into the Florida panhandle we're pretty solid on this uh, forecast here for Florida uh, high pressure over us is just not going to allow it to come in here's a future tracker you can see the storm uh, developing off the Yucatan then getting stronger getting well or well better organized and then moving northbound and that's uh, going to take it into the Florida Panhandle probably Monday Tuesday of next week in the meantime high pressure is basically blocking it from coming in our direction so what is your extended outlook well it's the big uh, holiday weekend official beginning of summertime we are looking at a 91 today, then getting up to 93 and 95. Still your forecast high on Sunday and on Monday, and that's Memorial Day. 